Hi, I'm Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. And I'm here to talk to you today about incontinence and using cloth pads. So I probably started using menstrual, like reusable menstrual products uh, right after my daughter was born in 2000, early, like January, January, February 2015. So since then I have found that I can wear pads every day if I need to with uh, I have had incontinence issues for or years and years probably since I was 15 and it was made even worse after I had my daughter so but here was my problem with disposables I was so allergic I could barely manage to wear disposable pads or anything like that for longer than my period last. Actually, a lot of people that struggle with incontinence of all ages, uh, kids, teenagers, young adults, adults, and older people, it's actually not as uncommon as you think it is. And uh, you shouldn't feel bad if you are somebody that have even a slight incontinence problem or a little bit worse of one there are definitely things that you can do to help the situation and I love that I found cloth pads because now I know that I can be okay and not have to worry about anything so on an everyday kind of basis I like to use a liner that is glad rag and I only like to do this because it is flannel core flannel top flannel back and I think that those kind of pads are nice and light and they're very breathable so I wear it on like an everyday kind of basis because it is very breathable and it is light it's not super bulky that kind of thing so any pad for me that is uh, really kind of light that is flannel top through bottom everything that would be ideal for me just because it's kind of soft it's breathable and it's not gonna be super bulky and that's the kind of thing I'm looking for on an everyday kind of basis and if I'm feeling that I need a little bit more protection and maybe the wetness is starting to bother me or irritate because with flannel if you have like a major problem like every day like all day long um, the flannel will get wet and it'll feel wet and it'll stay wet so that could cause irritation so what I do when I'm particularly having trouble say I'm sick and I'm doing a lot of sneezing coughing my muscles just and the longer that I'm sick the more of an issue there is so say that's happening I am going to use a moderate pad that is covered in um, bamboo charcoal and bamboo charcoal is very great at stay dry so if staying dry is something that is very very important to you and will lead to the most comfortable situation for you you need to check out bamboo car charcoal and very few actual like Etsy makers and that kind of thing use bamboo charcoal I found like a huge set of these like six for twenty dollars on Amazon and there's all kinds of these cheaper pad companies that use the bamboo charcoal and it is great it's even great for that time of the month uh, it leaves it for the most part it sucks it all in and leaves it dry that's why I really love these out of skin I get irritated very easily so when I'm having those um, issues I definitely need something that is going to stay dry and so all you need to do to find something like this is search cloth pads on Amazon and it is this gray material and you can look in about the pads and it will definitely tell you if the front the top there is bamboo charcoal and almost every one of those is or a terry that's just what the cheaper uh, pads from like bigger make it makers like Alva and those kind of companies that like make diapers will make cloth pads and they will have this um, baby charcoal but the one downside to these is that it has like a PUL like TPU kind of material which is great you're not going to leak through this it is got a waterproofing to it but it is definitely not breathable and if you are using this on an everyday kind of basis then you know you may get kind of hot and that may make you a little bit uncomfortable so I definitely like to switch back and forth and I like to go for like flannel pads 
that can breathe really well when I don't expect to have like major issues. You have to decide what it is that you need and how off frequent your issues are. Do you need something every day? Do you not? If you need something every day, I would recommend getting at least seven different kind of pads that you're willing to do every day just so that you only have to wash once a week and you could wash those seven pads. I would just suggest do a mixture because you do really want breathable. You don't want to go constantly every day with something that's not going to breathe. That could cause its own issues. So I would definitely recommend like throwing some other stuff in there. So maybe do cotton. If you don't like the way flannel is, cotton is another one of those things that if you could get um, something that doesn't have like a waterproof layer on it, that would be very breathable as well as the flannel. The flannel is always a good option. I think it is softer than cotton and it breathes. So I'm always looking for something that's kind of soft because that really just feels good against my sensitive skin. So this is what I do to help solve my incontinence problem and I hope watching this has kind of helped you or uh, given you a where to start if you're trying to figure out what you're going to use cloth pad wise um, to help your incontinence and let me know if you have any questions below in the description box. I will be happy to answer those if I can and I hope that you have a wonderful day.